Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here against you. Tell Beyonce to stop calling you. Yeah, sorry. Wasn't I, she just at the VMAs? Yeah. She just. She can't stop. She did not give out my number. She's crazy in love. Yep. <laughs> That's one of her songs. <laughs> That's one of her songs, you know, there, right? Yep. Got me looking so crazy right now. Yep. That ring. That <laughs> ring that I put on her. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's Anyways. a good one. Yeah, I didn't know if you were gonna catch on to my reference, but you did, and you one upped me. That's why she can't stop calling me <laughs> or texting me. She don't call me; she texts me. She texts you. Yeah. So for today's video, I brought my friend and fellow photographer Alvin, and he is it is it okay to say that you specialize in wedding photography? Yeah, sure. I mean, majority of my work is. Wedding and portraiture, so yeah. Alvin's a full time wedding photographer, and he I feel like he does a lot more wedding photography than I do, so I really wanted to bring him in to this video so he can share some of his personal tips and tricks um, in photography. So, can you tell us how many weddings like an average of the amount of weddings that you do per month? Per month, um, or maybe per year, per year. Um, I'm booking around 25 to 30 weddings a year. That's awesome. So keep him busy. Yeah, it keeps me busy, but not so overwhelmed where like I can't do anything else. Well, you cry at night. Yeah. Every night. So I think it's a good, it's a good balance. <laughs> so I brought Alvin specifically here so that he could again talk about some of his personal tips. Mm -hmm. um, since he does so many weddings, I figure you probably accumulated a couple of tips. So he's gonna be sharing some of those tips with you guys today and. Okay, what's step number one? I'm step excited number to one. know. Oh, oh man. they said stop. Wow. <laughs> so, <okay>. No, um, <laughs> I mean, as far as tip and being able to comfortably shoot a wedding or in, or take a photo in general, um, my number one tip would be definitely learn your tools. Learn your tools. Your tools, you know. Make sure you know the in and outs, um, how it works, and how to replace it when it needs to be replaced on oh, all yeah. that good I stuff. Oh yeah, to clean it. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm talking about, you know, cameras, you know. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's a great yeah. thing to add. So Never specifically <laughs> camera. So definitely know your camera, how it works, how it exposes, how it takes photos. Because I feel like if you don't know your camera and you're just guessing on settings and taking <laughs> the photo. That's a red Yeah, taking the photo. <laughs> You, you can miss a lot of opportunities, like a lot of good moments, you know, if you don't know how to use your camera. Can you give us an example of that? Uh, for example, uh, a good way would be, you know, if you're shooting a wedding and it's backlit and, you know, you can't, during a ceremony, you can't tell the officiant to be like, hey, hold on. <laughs> Let me figure out my settings and let me expose correctly. But wait a minute, wait, wait till I get my settings right before you do the kiss. You know, it's a good situation. You knowing, you know, that you should, or most of the time, you should overexpose by one stop if you're shooting backlit to, you know, to even out the lighting and to make sure your subject is properly exposed. You know, that comes in handy. And so that you don't hold up things, you don't miss the kiss. So that's important. Another thing that I thought of is, especially like when you're going from inside to outside, you have to change all your settings. Mm -hmm. So so knowing when and how to change it properly and like fast, literally within seconds. Within seconds. Yeah, it's very important. So because like I said, if you don't know your settings, you can miss lots of opportunities and moments. Good, good moments, and it sucks. So just learn your settings. Yeah, learn your settings. Learn Go out, tools. practice. Yeah, and you know, learn how it works, so you can be a master of it. Master photography. Yeah. Master your craft and your tools. It's important. So, <laughs> what is your second? What's the second tip? Or what is? Oh, uh, second tip. Um, I think a lot of people ask about you know how I promote my business or how I, you know, how I get my clients, my inquiries. Um, yeah. really, I mean, a lot of my my. Promotion happens online, you know, definitely Facebook, Instagram, um, and sharing your work is very important. Constantly sharing your work online. Every very, day. Yeah, every, every day. Every day. Every day. 
You might I mean, think, that, oh, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter, but uh, that's really what does. works for me, you know. So ever since I started, you know, constantly sharing work is what got me emails about inquiries about weddings, and you know, paid gigs. So you you're know. talking about sharing work on like, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Are there any sites other than like social media that you? You, you know, if you have a website, you know, definitely have a website. You know, and constantly update it with new work, fresh work. You know. What about wedding websites? Do you join those? Um. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm actually on the knot. Um, a wedding website online. Um, it's one of the biggest like wedding, well, wedding. Wedding for, service. Yeah. Webs wedding. New bride and groom to kind of. People you know, just go there when they want some information on weddings. Yeah, about styles and style, things. Um, search for photographers and stuff like that. And it worked for me, you know. So that's. Do you feel like you're getting a lot of business from the knot? Sure. You feel like it's worth it? Sure. Okay. So it's, it's a good site. First hand experience. I mean, he's on yeah. it. I'm not on it. I think I get like 60% of my bookings from the knot. That's awesome. So just, even one is still, yeah. I mean, even one every so often is still great. Mm -hmm. because just because every new bride and groom is on there, you know, and it's very well known. You, know, you also got to learn how to balance your family and, you know, your, your, personal, your life personal life. And Netflix. Yeah. And Hulu. Yeah. And so your cat. It's hard work. So <laughs> keep that in mind. It's hard work. So, you know, like photography and doing it full time is not... It's not easy. It's not easy and we don't really live the glamorous, glamorous life that you life. guys think that we yeah. live. We really just edit pictures in a basement. Yeah. <laughs> in a dark, dingy basement. There's like a lot that. more than that. And I would say it's 80% business and 10% shooting. Keep that in and mind. And then 10% watching TV. Yeah. And inspiring and, yourself. And keeping yourself alive and sleeping. So it's definitely, you know, it's hard work and you got to have commitment and patience. So. Any other tips besides the... wait, I don't even... No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, damn. Mm. I've made countless videos on my tips and techniques, but specifically for weddings, I think a very important thing is your connection with the bride and the groom. That's going to play a big part in how your pictures come out. Sure. If someone is comfortable with you, I feel like the pictures will just come out so much better right. always meet the bride and the groom if you're able to do a love couple session or an engagement session prior to the wedding you know you get to know each other um uh, you know on a professional level and on a personal level you get to work with them see how they are uh, i think that is very helpful so if possible maybe have a package where you include like a couple session so you work with the bride and the groom before the wedding so you kind of get to know what they're about. They can see how you are and how you work. And what they don't like. Exactly. What they like. Exactly. So you guys so. can, it's like, you you just feel each, not feel each other out. That sounds wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the more information you can get out from them, the more of a good job you can provide later on. Exactly. So. And um, I talked about this in the, the other video. We had a question and answer video about weddings. Um, one very important tip that I think we both agreed on is that you never say no to a guest mm -hmm. when if they ask you for a picture. Yeah, if you're the Number photographer. One thing, if you're the photographer, so you're there to take photos. That's your job. And that's your job. Just take so, the picture, and yeah. it'll take two seconds. Mm -hmm. and Sometimes it's gonna be annoying. And it is. It's you not. Know. You know, we're human. We get annoyed, but, but I just don't let it show. Part of the job. So go in the corner somewhere and. Eat a granola bar. And like she said before, don't take anything personal when it comes to you know you shooting the wedding the day off. If someone's rude to you, don't take it personal. Don't take it you're personal. You're gonna cry. Oh yeah, there's gonna be last year. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's rough out there. <laughs> but you know, have fun. You know, enjoy your clients and enjoy what you do. Organizing shots. A very detailed timeline is always great. Have a detailed timeline. Yeah. Like, or a shot list. Yeah, a shot list is very important uh, for family formals, really. Um, I always ask my bride and groom for a list of names of the people they want in the group photo so that that's great. they don't miss anyone important. So that's that's a really good point. Shot list. Mm -hmm. uh, if, a, if a bride wants a specific shot, maybe of the back of her shoe, maybe there's something underneath her shoe that says something special, mm -hmm. make sure you ask the bride and the groom. Shows. What kind of shot? Yeah, yeah, specific things that they they want. Their to be vision, photographed. 
the vision of the wedding and stuff like that. Almost every so. bride will have a shot that she really oh, yeah. wants, like a veil shot yeah. or a shot of her, like my bride coming up wants a shot of her like walking towards the beach mm -hmm. um, in her dress. Because at the end of the day, you want to make, you want to make sure and you deliver images that will make your clients happy. Very happy. Yep. It's all about your clients. It's all about your clients. Yeah, sure. They're hiring you for your vision, but if you don't capture certain specific things that they want yep. and you know, stuff like that, it, it, it sucks. <laughs> They're not going to be happy. Yeah. So. It, there's a difference between the photos that you think that they would like and then the photos that they actually like. Like, especially when I send proofs out to my clients, I'm like, oh, I love this picture. I love this picture. Mm -hmm. And then my client picks out completely different pictures that I would have never picked out. So it just goes to show you what you think. Some, like, if you think a picture is really nice, the client may not have that same yeah. vision or maybe they think another picture is nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely put your own flavor into it. Of course. Of yeah. Course. You know, but listen to your clients. But listen to your clients' wants and needs. And if you know? anything, you can you can educate them. If there's a shot that you absolutely can't get, like if they want like an aerial shot, or you hate from a cliff, then yeah, yeah. You if you don't like know. a shot, just let them know. Be honest. Just mm -hmm. be like, this is a little cheesy, and I don't. <laughs> it's not really my style. Just be honest yeah. with them. You know. So I wouldn't hurt. But if it's like so. a regular request, like well, I want the back of my dress, I think that's totally that's totally yeah, cool. Yeah, sure. Not like something un like, oh, I want me hanging from a cliff. I want you hanging from a cliff and then take the picture of me f like jumping, bungee jumping. And right. you know, yeah. it's not possible to say no. So talk to them, communicate with them. Communicate with the bride and the groom. Always 100%. So the more you know, the better job you do. Honestly. So. And we can say this from experience. Mm -hmm. So. Those are our top wedding photography tips. Uh, I hope they've been helpful. I know that we both have used these religiously for all the weddings that we've done. And we've shot weddings together. So. We, and it works. I mean, yeah. We, we knock them out. Yeah. People love the pictures. So, so. Can't complain. Try it out. <laughs> Let us know what you think. And if you guys have any of your own personal tips you'd like to add. And again, thank you, Alvin, You're for welcome. coming. I'm going to have thank a link you. to Alvin's work uh, his website instagram say hello and if you have any questions for him let us know in the comment section awesome. thank you guys for watching bye peace